Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Yasmin Ibrahim. His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, has directed the Minister of Interior, General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, to form a committee tasked with investigating the circumstances of an inmate's death who had been arrested on various criminal charges. His Royal Highness further directed the Minister to submit their findings and undertake the necessary legal measures to address any violation or derelication of duty. The Ministry of Inter Industry, Commerce and Tourism organized sporting events in cooperation with the Bahrain Tourism and Exhibition Authority in the presence of the Minister of Industry, Zayed bin Rashid Al Zayani. He hailed the allocation of a day to practice sports, which reflects the Kingdom's keenness on the safety of the Bahraini citizens. He added that Bahrain Sports Day reflects the importance of sports culture. Al Zayani also noted the Ministry's keenness to participate in the national event. The Electricity and Water Affairs Authority, IWA, organized a special program for its employees on Bahrain Sports Day with the participation of its minister, Wa'il Al Mubarak, and IWA's CEO, Sheikh Nawaf bin Ibrahim Al Khalifa. The minister expressed thanks to the directives of His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, for allocating half a working day for all employees of ministries and government agencies. He affirmed the importance of Bahrain Sports Day, launched by His Highness Sheikh Nasser and and His Highness Sheikh Khalid, which aims to promote sports culture. Sheikh Nawaf also praised the directives of His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. The Ministry of Housing stated that dedicating an annual day to encourage sports reflects Bahrain's interest in sports. The Ministry also indicated that the various sports events that it held came in with the Ministry's awareness programs on the importance of sports culture. It held an awareness lecture titled Sports Challenges Corona, presented by the Director of the Olympic Academy at the Bahrain Olympic Committee and also held sports activities in Salman Town. Information and e-government authority IGA staff participated in, in, are participated in the sixth edition of the annual Bahrain Sports Day, which was held at Bahrain International Circuit, BIC, and featured a range of athletic events. IGA Chief Executive Mohammed Ali Al Qaid, senior management and employees took part in this event. Al Qaid expressed his appre appreciation for the directives of His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, and the government, which have supported the health and well-being of citizens and residents in the kingdom, especially during the pandemic. He highlighted the positive feedback that Bahrain Sports Day received from employees and other segments of the society that have been actively participating in its activities. The employees participated in a range of activities including running, handball, basketball, fencing, tennis and other competitions and exercises delivered by sports instructors. Precautionary measures were followed as per the instructions of the National Task Force for Combating the Coronavirus COVID-19. Precautionary measures were followed as per the instructions of the National Task Force for Combating the Coronavirus. The Crown Prince of Fijera, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Hamad Al Sharqi, received at Al Rumaila Palace, President of the Asian Football Confederation, First Vice President of the International Football Association, Sheikh Salman bin Ibrahim Al Khalifa. During the meeting, both sides exchanged talks regarding the close relations between the UAE and the Kingdom of Bahrain in various aspects, in addition to reviewing the plans and programs of the Asian Football Confederation aimed at developing the game system in various parts of the Asian continent. For his part, Sheikh Salman bin Ibrahim Al Khalifa praised the United Arab Emirates for its role in the Asian and international football arena, wishing it continued progress and development. Al Amal Enterprises, the investment sector of Al Amal Fund, announced its investment in the local company Del Espresso which specializes in the manufacture of tea and coffee capsules with modern and Arabic flavors in partnership with the private sector in an investment round of $212,000 during the second episode of the BBAN program. For her part, the general manager of Al Amal Projects, Fajr Al Bajhji, confirmed that this project is a successful commercial project with high potential for expansion through regional distribution and export in order to meet the needs of the growing coffee industry in the region at the present time. 
She noted that the BBAN program gives El Amal projects an important and unique opportunity to know ambitious local entrepreneurs and founders who have ideas and projects with potential, which makes it ready to achieve further growth, to step outside the borders of the kingdom and thrive on the regional and global levels. In line with what has been previously announced on the 31st of January 2022 and following approval by the Government Executive Committee, the National Medical Task Force for Combating the Coronavirus COVID-19 today announced the adoption of the Green Alert level starting from 15th February 2022. The National Medical Task Force noted that the decision was taken following a review of the daily average number of cases in intensive care. The task force noted that Bahrain had previously moved to the Yellow Alert level as a precautionary measure despite a low rolling average of positive cases in intensive care. The National Medical Task Force noted the spread of the Omicron variant has caused a global spike in cases including in Bahrain. However, a low number of cases in the kingdom require medical treatment or are in intensive care. The task force indicated that this is due to the success of the kingdom's national vaccination campaign. The task force explained that some procedures within the green alert level have been updated, including a return to 100% capacity for all indoor facilities, including cinemas, playgrounds, entertainment centers, events, conference halls, and public attendance at sports events. Furthermore, individuals would not need to present a Green Shield vaccine pass. However, masks wearing indoors will continue to be compulsory, compulsory and all precautionary measures that fall under the Green Alert level should be adhered to. The task force concluded by stressing the importance of community awareness in supporting national mitigation efforts and the necessity to adhere to precautionary measures, including getting fully vaccinated and receiving a booster shot. Vaccination centers in the various governorates of the kingdom are witnessing a continuous demand by citizens and residents to receive COVID-19 vaccinations within the framework of the national vaccination campaign. The total of those who received the first dose of the vaccination reached more than 1,227,000 people, while the number of recipients of the second dose exceeded more than 1,197,000 people. In addition, more than 952,000 people received the booster dose. 